Hey White House, Liz Lachman here. I felt the Lord wanted me to talk to you about unity. Um, you see all the division in our world right now. People are upset for, for some staying indoors, for, for not staying indoors, for wearing masks, for, for being open, for being closed, for getting tested or not, whatever it may be. People are upset with people and turning people in. Instead of being helpful to each other, People are tearing others down, even when they don't know other situations. I would love to read the entire book of Ephesians to you, um, and I encourage you to read it on your own time. But I'm going to start at Ephesians 4, and I'm going to start with 1 through 4. I urge you to live a life worthy of the calling you have received. Be completely humble and gentle. Be patient, bearing with one another in love. Make every effort to keep the unity of the spirit through the bond of peace. There is one body and one spirit, just as you were called to one hope when you were called. So, you know, as Christians, we, we are to build each other up, not tear each other down. You know, we, we need to be patient and love one another and help each other. As Christians, we need to represent Jesus Christ well here on earth. People who don't have a solid relationship with the Lord, and even some that do, we all handle fear in so many different ways. You know, it makes people feel good to have a stock of food, of water, and yes, of all that toilet paper out there. Well, that's not there anymore. Um, it makes people feel good to read or to go for a run. It makes others feel good to have all sorts of guns and ammo. So let us not tear people down because they don't handle things exactly the way we would. So Christ himself gave the apostles, the prophets, the evangelists, the pastors and teachers to equip his people for works of service so that the body of Christ may be built up until we all reach unity in, in the faith and in the knowledge of the Son of God and become mature, attaining to the whole measure of the fullness of Christ. So as Christians, let, let's get in the word, let's pray, let's fast and tune in to all the teachings that are, that are from the word of God to grow us in the faith. Faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. So let's build each other up in that and, and others around us. Let's be a light during this time. We need to remember who the real enemy is, and that is the devil. It, it says in John 10.10, that he comes to steal, to kill, and to destroy. He uses panic, he uses fear, he uses disease, whatever it may be, to bring division and to bring destruction. So let's go to Ephesians 4, 14 through 16. Then we will no longer be infants tossed back and forth by the waves and blown here and there by every wind of teaching and by the cunning and craftiness of the people and their deceitful scheming. Instead, speaking the truth in love, we will grow to become in every respect the mature body of him who is the head, that is Christ. From him, the whole body joined and held together by every supporting ligament grows and builds itself up in love as each part does its work. So let us grow. Let us grow in strength. Let us show grace and spread love and hope to others around us. Let's do the work. Let's do the work God has called us to do, the Lord's work, and let's be his hands and be his feet here on earth. So Ephesians 4, 32 says, Be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as Christ forgave you. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, I thank you, Lord God, that in the middle of chaos that you're working. You're working things out for, for our good and for your glory, Lord God. I pray for um, Christians out there who um, have brought, there's, there's so much division in them right now. And Lord God, I pray for your unity. I pray for unity in, in the Christians, Lord. And I pray for unity in America, Lord. I pray, Lord God, that we remember what we're fighting, and that is the enemy in the name of Jesus. And Father, we, we do curse this virus, and we pray that it shrivel up and die. And I pray, Lord God, most of all, for your faith to arise in people. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Thank you, and have a blessed day.